SciFest was launched nationwide in 2008 and the aim was to promote a love of science, technology, engineering, maths or STEM and to give students a forum where they could display the results of their investigation. This is a great initiative because it gets them into the political solutions and solving. It gives them a great chance to see the fun side of this because it's all about projects. And I think it's important that we get them engaged in, in the sciences outside of the classroom as well, in a different setting. It's their own time, their own interest, and it shows great development. We uh, made a herd management software app. We hope to eliminate the paperwork involved managing a farm. We made a new ear tag for the cow using a QR code, and we also put in a, this new microchip, which can be scanned by a smartphone, and all the information about the cow is then brought up on the smartphone device. So this project here is a flight strategy efficiency in raptors. And a raptor is essentially a bird of prey. It's anything that uses its talons to seize or to grab or to take using force, and that's how they catch their prey. So this project is all about their efficiency. It starts at the ground, locally in schools, and then it goes regional, and then finals, and then international. SciFest is currently funded 50-50 by the public and private sector. Our main funders would be SFI Discover, Intel Ireland, and Boston Scientific. It is very important for government and industry to support such projects like SciFest to promote STEM. To be able to take research projects, to go through that process and then to be able to demonstrate and display their work to other people, they're invaluable skills that us later in life as employers, we truly want to be able to see in them. The commitment today was so impressive. It's overwhelming to see the interest level of the students, the fact that they had decided to ask questions that were relevant to their lives and then go about investigating it in their way using scientific skills. My project all started because I noticed that some people when they start to develop memory loss or like the early stage of Alzheimer's they forget to take things like medicine or they lose their phone and keys so then that got me thinking I had to try and design something to help them remember to take their medicine appointments and to find things so I've used the Google Calendar which means that you can set it from anywhere in the world. I've used the Ford Raspberry Pi, which searches my Google Calendar, and then whenever it's a certain time, the red light on the box flashes, so then the drawer opens and they take their medicine. The winner of SciFest Grand Award goes to Christopher Carrigan. I'm massively impressed with the level of work and commitment of the students, particularly because most of the projects are outside in their spare time. A lot of them have told me they've done their project over their summer holidays, which is a massive commitment. If you're thinking of doing it, if you think you have a bad idea, it's not a bad idea, you know, go for it. We didn't think this could become what it is. I'd say like do something that interests you because then you'll actually put your full heart and soul into it. I never really had much of an interest kind of in science or anything of that nature. You might think, oh, this is too high tech for me, this is too... That's the way I always thought of it, like from a personal point of view. The more it went on, the more it became interesting because it's relevant and it's in your everyday life. Students have a forum to do investigations or discovery learning in school, but it's only as part of their curriculum, whereas this takes it outside the box. They develop skills, critical analysis skills, communication skills. I could see myself in science, not really any other subject apart from that.